Oh boy. Kizaru's current Japanese VA is Ryotaro Okiyu, who played Zero in the Mega Man X series, Alucard, and Symphony of the Night. Hideyoshi and Senkoku Basra, mm. Byakuya and Bleach, and Lancelot in the Fate series. Oh, That's yes. a f***ing tall list, oh my god. Yeah, just bring up Bailey if you want to see how uh, how contrasting some actors can be. Yeah. The one where it's like X actor played Jack Atlas and then also plays the Japanese version of Mickey Mouse. Yeah, that that's a man of a wide uh, talent pool right there. Holy sh**. <laughs> All right, which one are we doing? Because uh, if I can get one, I can actually show off Ace a little bit. I know how to use him like a smidge. This is one of those ones that they used to do a lot of that was funny. Uh, sadly, I don't think I'll be- wait. Will they let me, and will it pop up the warning? Well, which one did you choose? Pin up rescue. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is one of the things that they would do from the time to time in some of the older games is, Hey, there's the stage with multiple routes. Choose a girl. Choose the girl you think is the prettiest, or something. Uh, okay. I can't wait to keep watching uh, the Netflix series, because, yeah, Sanji has been great so far in it. Oh, wow, hi, guys. Uh, I guess also one other quick thing that's very funny is to note, uh, is to note that later on, in Pyware's 3 at least, they, the stage would actually give you warnings if it uh, if you choose Sanji, and will actually tell you if there's a woman in the stage that are enemies you have to, you have to deal with. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is starting to get more of a benchmark on how bad the framer can actually get, and it's about to get worse. How do you get claustrophobia from watching something? God damn. Oh, I got a question that probably only Brandon can answer. Would you say Whole Cake Sanji is, better, is a better done ace? Well, he's not ace in that instance, but yes, yeah, Sanji and Whole Cake is fantastic. Oh yeah, that's right. When your uh, when your install runs out, it just does your level. Yeah, one. I think I kind of understand why he's going with that question. And yeah, if you mean to ha if you mean having a character kidnapped, it's not really that either. Uh, that oh, yep. It's more it's a more along the lines of uh, Nami and Robin uh, running away from the arc because they have personal matters to attend to. It's basically uh, that same thing where he's uh, leaving to protect them. This is a damn shame. It's going to take me until Whole Cake to see Sanji get any good character development. Ugh. Sanji still has great moments before then, but yeah. in terms of actually growing his overall character, yeah, he's going to be back burner for a while. In terms of ha uh, repairing the damage that's been done to him through Thrillbark, yeah. Hey, it could be worse. You could be characters like uh, Robin that is given literally nothing to do for, I think, almost exactly, actually, like, seven, Literally until recently, yeah, in Wano. Seven, uh, seven or eight hundred chapters given nothing to do. Yeah. I really come to realize that I just also really don't like Robin's design at all with the 12 miles of forehead. New or old? Uh, new. It depends on which costume you're working with and how they do her hair. If they actually gave her bangs on her, I think she looks a, a stellar. Like, obviously, we were talking about this with the Press Rosa blue outfit. But I think she looks great in her Wano raid outfit specifically yeah. that actually does have her hair tied up into a ponytail. It's all slicked back all the way, but it still looks really good. Yeah, I, I think that does complement the, the kimono she's wearing there, too. Yeah. But, like, most of the other dresses, I feel like, just don't really do... Don't look amazing? I don't know. It's also like the roots of her hair just look weird too. The worst she ever looks is in Zoe. That's the, the, the pink sweater, I remember already, yeah. The, uh, the pink t shirt. Yeah. Robin being eye candy. The, the keyword uh, being bin. Uh, it, it, yeah. it depends. I, meanwhile, here I am with Ami, like, oh my god, she's actually great to look at post times. Holy shit. Yeah. Right, this thing that I've been forgetting to do. I didn't do it once while I was playing, yeah. I don't even know if she did anything just now. The the screen flash was part of her kit, I think, yeah? I think that was the transition back. That was weird, in which case that was probably a bug. Holy shit, that was one of the first times I've ever seen that attack actually land its full combo all the way up. Yeah. 
You really have to be it literally inside of a boss in order for the, the Smash 5 to work. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I think Robin has a good design in Punk Hazard, is that... Do you mean when she's wearing the t-shirt that she takes off to reveal the tank top, or do you mean when she puts on the winter coat? Because I like... Because I remember Ooh. liking her coat in there, I think. Taking a look, also... What, what game was that? SD Gundam Battle Alliance is on sale. It's the action RPG with the, the chippy model. That's the yeah. first one that has uh, the Soleta DLC. You don't have to worry, I already own it. Because I imagine that's not something you're interested, interested to pay for. Yeah, uh, not for 40 bucks, no. Yeah, that's the, the gif you always bring out of her taking her shirt off. I've only shot it once, I know what you're talking about. I've seen you post it multiple times. I think just the one, like once or twice, maybe. I share a gift twice, and Brandon's like, that's her signature now. I didn't say that. I said you've done it a couple of times. If it's a tank, the... Okay, the pink tank top is really good, I'm not gonna lie. What about her coat? Uh, the coat's also fantastic little guy, too, yeah. She's got a leather jacket somewhere. Oh yeah, I think we were talking about that before, too. You should look up her raid outfit. I think I know what you're talking about, the pirate, the... The skies in Wano, yeah? Uh, the raid is different than her regular one outfit. Uh, I look up raid for Rob and all I see is gotcha. The kimono one, yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, I've seen it before. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Especially with the recent thing with with, with the demon uh, clone. She summons behind her uh, to Demon attack. Demonio uh, floor. Black Maria. Yeah, that was great. Also, return to return to bangs. I guess uh, Robin with bangs equals evil. Okay. Sure, why not? More of that, please. Why, why, absolutely. Uh. Actually, wait. I've never. What do his? Oh. Damn it. I want to lock onto Bruno, not you. It's really funny that three members of CP9 would end up as furries. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> what do you think about it like that? Oh my god, he has Luigi's little taunt kick. Oh yeah, that's his R2, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it instantly puts him airborne. I think you can follow up with the air kick afterwards. <laughs> no, that wasn't Bruno. No clipping out of the wall just now. That was his actual ability in-game. Yeah, his door-door fruit. Yeah. Alright, please one of you actually get hit by this and drop a healing item. Motherfucker. Nope. Whiff. Well, that's an opportunity for some damage. No jobber came in. Eh. The thing also about this game, like, I feel like you barely have invincibility frames when you attack off the ground. Please tell me you didn't lock the door behind me. There are some areas available to you behind you. Any of you? No. Nope, They're following a... too. Holy shit! Are they? Oh no! Wait. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, they are. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, oh my god! Look at this shit. I'd like to, but I can't. It's rendering too slowly. Oh, I guess wh whichever one that was just kind of went back. That's hilarious. No, no health items, huh? Getting sniped by Tempest Kick is really something. Yeah, no kidding. Imagine these uh, jackoffs actually doing team synergies. I know my job would actually be characterized as a furry in games like Carrot. I wanted a healing item, not a coin. Well, uh, yeah. Wait a minute, this isn't one of those games where it starts refilling your Musa gauge automatically when you're low on health. Nope. What? Ah, piss. It's one of the only games to not do that. Piss. Jesus Christ. So I really hope I can hit uh, Bruno first and that he actually. Yeah, there's a lot that has to go Wait, right no, here. Wait, fuck, he's already gone. Is it not a good thing? Well, no, I thought he would have dropped a healing item. God, the, also the camera moving so slowly is also not helping either. Well, that's the end of that. You tried. Hey, to be fair, I think this was the first time we actually died in this game. Jesus. Yes. Alright, you can have one. Take that as a badge of honor. Alright. Oh, let's you keep your levels up? That's, that's kind of cool, actually. Not that I can't today, I don't think. Usually, Musou games are pretty unforgiving in the, in the realm of, um, 
giving you shit if you die. So that's pretty cool. The spinoff ones that you keep stuff. I have, uh, I don't remember what game it was, but there's one where I would spend like 30 minutes to level, then die. <laughs> It'd be lose everything. Oh god, do I want to? That's the one that'll take an hour and a half if you want to go there. Maybe not much. Maybe on that one. Uh, what's a good one to show off a character? Baratia? I kind of knew Alkeja finally come to blows. Pick a sign. Ooh! That's Shh. funny. Sure, why not? I could actually show off what he does a little bit. Is there a coin setup? There is. Okay, cool. I have coin set up on almost everyone. I just have to make sure really fast. Jabra isn't to make. Yeah, no, he ate the the wolf wolf fruit. Being so, what the actual animal people are called? Oh yeah, they come from uh, Zo. Oh, I forgot about the strong world outfit. Yep. Nice. Oh yeah, a lot of strong world outfits also retain and wearing blood from what we've learned. That's good. But there's a funny other thing that's only a problem with post time skip Robin. I feel. Any black hair feminine looking character just looks the same as Robin in the manga. Yeah. No, that's just true. Hancock is is Robin, Tashigi is Robin, etc. Al Alex in chat was playing Burning Blood, mistaking uh the princess girl for Dress Rosa as uh Robin. I don't blame him, honestly. The one that's voiced by Christina V. Oh, Viola. Yeah. Alright, so Shanks is kind of interesting or Shanks. Shanks. Yeah, Shanks would be great. The Shanks would be pretty great. No, he's got some interesting mechanics where he it sometimes he'll do a delay at the end of one of his streams <laughs> where you can then char uh where his next moves are charging. It actually is pretty cool because the longer they charge, the more damage and bigger area they do. Huh. So he's actually kind of flexible in that regard. That said, though, uh, against Logia users, uh, this might be a bit tricky. You're a Logia. I'm not sure how much I can uh, take advantage of that, though. Also, you can lock on. Oh, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Man, no, really, Ace actually does handle pretty well in this game. I think he's the best here. I think he actually gets uh, weaker as the power level of the rest of the cast escalates. I think that's generally accurate, yeah. Come on. Ah, the camera has such a hard time keeping up with the fucking lock-on. Unfortunately, yes. What do your trigger attacks do? The fucking duck sand tornado was, was actually absorbed sucking me just now. <laughs> uh, R2 I think is a tackle? Huh. I don't really do much here though. It might only work against regular enemies. Oh no, he's blowing. He's in a power-up state. Smash 5 is a, is a Firefly move. Fuck me, okay. Yeah, the in this game specifically, the challenge stages do not fuck around. These ones are actually difficult. Pyro Warriors 2 was also pretty bad about it as well. Were they that bad in 2? I've tried a couple of them. They can be pretty brutal, yeah, on DLC. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, the ones in this game especially are actually give, uh, give you a really decent challenge. Evidently, goddamn. I'm not sure what the R1 does. It looks like it might actually repel uh, some stuff. Nope, I died. Okay. <sighs> Probably a physical counter. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, either way, I'm not too surprised by that fact. I'm going to give people the hint. What? The hint to next. The preview. Oh. Well, we're going to wrap up uh, the YouTube side of it anyway, first and foremost. Yeah, but I was... Mainly, I said, I don't, I don't think there's really anything else here to see. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, well, I guess you're uh, cock teasing the YouTube eyes a little bit. Hey, we're gonna show off a little extra something something at the end of the Twitch stream. So if you want, if uh, be sure to follow me on Twitch if you want to see a little funny extra stuff. Now, that being said, this is officially the end of Pyro Warriors 1. Yes, we've actually done all the extra stuff we we're going to tackle. We are now officially done. And I will say, the game is still fun. Uh, but Power Wars 2 is where it just gets exorbitantly better, like, unimaginably so. It's crazy. Yeah, there's really nowhere to go, uh, to go but up. Yo, yeah, literally. I'm so glad it's one of those games where it actually does get a sequel and then improves everything versus, uh, the usual track record of, uh, some Namco Bandai games where they all abandon it at the, at the gate because they didn't do great. So, pfft, yeah. 
Uh, next time, we're going to... I think we'll have a little bit of a break before we get to redoing Pirate Warriors 2. Yeah, also, we got at least two other games first. We got a couple other games we're going to tackle. Some uh, One Piece, some non. And I'm going to be personally working on helming up some other things like the GBA game and uh, Burning Blood. And maybe also tackle some other stuff every once in a while. Wars are always, world is our oyster, boys. Just and luckily that oyster is not some weird uncanny um uh transponder snail like what Netflix was doing. What the hell what is even that guys? Weird. <laughs> that first slurred uh way you said that was really funny to me. For a second I thought you were gonna say Warriors of Rochi. <laughs> no, no. War oh dear god, I don't think we could ever handle that. <laughs> ah, I'm slurring already, good stuff. Yeah, we should wrap up. Alright. Good night to YouTube for Twitch. Stick around. We have a little thing to show you. Bye. I'm gonna go ahead uh, can't, uh stop recording so I can save hard drive space. All right. Every Twitch. Hang on, guys. Welcome to the after party.